Welcome to the game. I'm your host, Cookie Masterson, and I hate to toot my own horn, but... Oops, sorry, that wasn't mine. There we go, that one's mine. I'd say it was sad you're playing alone, but you already know that. And today's wrong answer of the game is being brought to you by... Kale Mart! If you find a single thing in our store that is not associated with kale, it's free! Kale Mart! We don't even know what kale is, and we don't care! Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash. Okay, let's not waste any more time. Get ready, time to crash it. First down the docket, mail enhancement. Just taking a moment to open my mail. Something I like to do every couple of years. Hmm, probably should have paid that. An old Christmas card. Well, let's see what it says inside. Well, it's been a big year for the whole family. Junior learned to drive, mom changed jobs, and dad started a drug empire cooking and selling high-quality methamphetamine. Hmm. What TV family is this Christmas card from? The Greens, the Browns, the Blacks, or the Whites? It was begging to be picked. Why, yes, this card is from Walter and Skylar White and their son Walt Jr. from the show Breaking Bad. And I'd read you the rest of the letter, but it's full of spoilers. Well, looks like you're not getting the green this time. But you'll have plenty of green soon with this brand new... Kale Coffee Maker from Kale Mart. Enjoy a piping hot cup of kale in the morning. Because apparently now kale is a thing that everybody's talking about and eating, and you can't escape it, so you might as well just put it in your f***ing coffee. This wrong answer of the game got you $4,000. Nice job. Say hello to Positive Feedback. What might you hear from a kingfisher that's fishing for compliments? So did anybody notice I just got my scales waxed? So did you guys see I'm wearing my fur differently? So how does everyone like my new gill tattoo? Or isn't anybody going to mention my new feather do? A kingfisher is a type of bird. You know, those things with feathers. Wow, talk about a needy, insecure bird. Oh my god, it's been 15 minutes. Somebody tell me I'm handsome. Interns, somebody tell me I'm handsome. You're handsome, sir. So handsome, Mr. Masterson. Oh, let's never cut it that close again. Dance with me, Disco 3. Here's one for you. Lucy in the sky with rubles. And oh yes, it's a dis or dat. I'm going to read off seven quotes totally out of context. For each one, I want you to tell me if it's something said by legendary pop star Elton John or something said by Russian Prime Minister Vladimir Putin. If it was said by Elton John, press the left arrow. If it was said by Vladimir Putin, press the right arrow. Okay, we're off. I do like Britney Spears. I think she's cute. I go to the gym. I swim dicks. I myself know some people who are gay. I think happiness is love. I collect emotions. In America, I'd definitely be a Democrat. I'm 5'8". I hate being short. Good, but not good enough for a Greatest Hits album. Kind of like the song Elderberry Wine. Exactly. Look, there is a lot of political turmoil in the world. We must trust Elton John's song, The Circle of Life. It's a simple philosophy that says this. No matter what happens, we can rest assured that one day, Vladimir Putin will be eaten by a lion. <laughs> And now, I hunger for love. 
If each member of the Hunger Games love triangle brought something different to the relationship, which of these arrangements would actually result in Katniss catching fire? Katniss brings air, Peta brings friction, and Gail brings time. Katniss brings friction, Peta brings fuel, and Gail brings inert gas. Katniss brings heat, Peta... The so-called fire triangle outlines what is needed to start and maintain fire, which is heat, fuel, and oxygen. Remove one, no fire. But I'm sure you could get rid of PETA and it would still be hot. Bye, finger. Take a good look at... One show down, 14,312 to go. And I'll throw some extra roses at you for a right answer. Put these Broadway musicals in order of longest to shortest original runs. Grease, Rent, Spamalot. Rent, Grease, Spamalot, Spamalot, Rent, Grease, Rent, Spamalot, Grease, or Grease, Rent, Spamalot. <laughs> Opening in 1996, Rent ran for 12 years. Grease opened in 1972 and ran for 8 years. And Spamalot opened in 2005 and had a 5 year run. You just picked up an extra thousand bucks for that. <laughs> Of course, none of these tops the musical Cats, which ran for 233 straight years. Hard to believe, but true. Good for them. <laughs> Round one is complete, and you're in pretty good shape for now. Don't forget, all the questions in round two are worth double. Now get out there and make me proud. <laughs> Next up, Chucky Balls. I just love Chuck E. Cheese. Especially those big ball pits with all the colorful balls that I, uh, uh, kids jump around in. So tell me this. Imagine, just hypothetically, that each color ball in a Chuck E. Cheese ball pit were a different virus. When you dive in, which ball could you definitely not come into contact with? A ball that causes polio, a ball that causes herpes, a ball that causes rabies, or a ball that causes plague? Herpes, polio, and rabies are all caused by a virus. Plague is caused by a bacteria, so none of those virus balls could give you plague. Plague is spread by rodents, but luckily not singing animatronic rodents like the ones you find at Chuck E. Cheese. Hey, anyone want to go to Chuck E. Cheese after the game? Question seven. Get up and shake your monkey bang. Take a stab at leafy laughter. Imagine an episode of Between Two Ferns with Zach Galifianakis being filmed with a set of two new freshly sprouted ferns. Based on the name for fern sprouts, what might be a better name for that episode? Between Two Saplings with Zach Galifianakis, Between Two Pup Shoots with Zach Galifianakis, Between Two Fronds with Zach Galifianakis, or Between Two Fiddleheads with Zach Galifianakis? A fern sprout is called a fiddlehead based on its shape, which resembles the top of, you guessed it, a fiddlehead. And like Zach Galifianakis, they take about 40 years to fully blossom. Follow me down to the sea. Oh, Next, Escargo for Margo. Okay, guys, I've got a theory, and I think it's pretty solid. Follow me on this. The movie Key Largo came out in 1948, and the next major Argo movie was Fargo. So there may have been a secret Argo embargo. Ergo, how long was the next Argo embargo between Fargo and Argo? 7 years, 12 years, 17 years, or 22 years? Fargo came out in 1996, and Argo in 2013. Ergo, a 17-year Argo movie embargo. And you know what never went out of style that entire time? Cargo pants. It's time for To Be or Not To Be Arthur. Hi, this is Corky. And how about them Golden Girls, huh? Old man, what the hell are you doing? Get away from the microphone. But I need to ask a question. G give me... Uh, give damn me, it! Uh, give me that! No, Listen to me, you stupid old... Give, give it to me! Ow. What's that thing? Who's that fella? Where's that scurly up doodle do It's Foggy Facts with Old Man. Scurly up doo I forget. 
All right, all right. <sighs> Just one question, and then you are out of here. Okay, two questions, great. One question. All right, all right. Don't get your panties in a... <laughs> whatever. I'm just trying to remember this one thing. Hmm. I'm trying to think of this lovely singing gentleman. He was friends with those Muppet puppets, and he lived in Colorado. He talked to God in all those movies, and then he died in a plane crash. Now he's probably talking to the real God. <laughs> Who the heck was that guy? Okay, was it Engelbert Humperdinck? <laughs> yes, old man, it's country folk singer-songwriter John Denver. You're talking about John Denver. I'm not talking about him. You are. Why were you trying to remember John Denver, old man? I wasn't. What are you talking about? You just commandeered this game to ask a question about him. Who? John Denver. <laughs> Never heard of him. Toodle little boy. Ah! Buck her up for menage a treat. Who would not be invited to a Neapolitan threesome? Vanilla ice, strawberry shortcake, the best. Neapolitan ice cream consists of strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla, but not lemon. So Liz Lemon would not be invited. Remember, approaching a threesome is just like eating ice cream. If you go at it too quickly, you might damage the roof of your mouth. Brace yourself for the attack. When you see two clues that match, press your A button. 2,000 bucks if you're right, but you lose 2,000 if you're wrong. And of course, remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Watch this Peter P. Who's the Peter P? For luck. That's the game! Wow, I haven't seen that many Peter since... What? No, it, you know what, I, I'm not reading the rest of this joke. I'm Mike Builder, General Manager of Jackbox Games. We've been hard at work coming up with new ways that you and your friends and family can play You Don't Know Jack. Don't have a lot of game controllers? Not a problem, because you can play this very game using your phone or tablet as a controller. But that's just the beginning. In the coming years, it's my hope that instead of using a regular controller, you'll be able to play our games using a regular TV remote, a calculator, a block of wood with buttons crudely drawn onto it, or even a garage door opener. But why stop there? We're hard at work making game controllers out of shoes, coffee table books about Paris, electric toothbrushes, farts, family pets, and maybe someday your own mind. My coworkers 
just tell me that most of these are technically impossible, but we already have it working on phones and tablets, and luckily I don't entirely know what the word impossible means. I think the word possible is in there somewhere, so that sounds promising. So if you love You Don't Know Jack, hopefully you'll eventually be playing our other games like Fibbage and Everybody Help Grandma, using just a half-eaten turkey sandwich as a controller. I'm Mike Builder, and I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Hey, Jerry, doing a little yard work? Oh, yeah. Just got some new garden gnomes. New garden? Oh, my. Look at the size of that garden gnome's d Oh, I see you noticed my gnome's giant package. I should have mentioned, these aren't regular garden gnomes. They're well-endowed garden gnomes from Gnome My. I bought the whole set. There's Python Petey, Busty Barbara, and my personal favorite, Giant Balls McGillicuddy. So, what do you think, Raj? I... I can't look away. Hey, boys, what you talking about? Sarah, don't come over here. Hi, Daddy. Ooh! Kids, get in the house. No, my well-endowed garden gnomes from the people who brought you lawn globes with nipples.